بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین وصلاۃ وسلام علی رسول کریم اما بعد برد سسٹرس السلام علیکم و رحمۃ اللہ وبرکاتہ ویلکم بیک ٹو الاسلام پروڈکشنز ان شاء اللہ ان دس ویڈیو وے دس آسپیکٹ آف دا یو نو دا مالکیز دا عقیدہ آف دا مالکیز فرام دا بکس آف دا مالکیز دا عقیدہ بکس تفسیر بکس آن دا فک بکس ان شاء اللہ دس سائڈ آف تھنگز وی آر گوئن ٹو فنش دا ان شاء اللہ ان دس ویڈیو اے ہیز ڈرگ ڈاؤن الا آئی ڈو یو نو اپولوجائز and we did think that you know we're going to take it step by step but inshallah Mawlana Osman sahab he has made a, a decision that everything we've got inshallah we're going to give you all before Ramadan because what we want to do is we want to stop before Ramadan al-Mubarak uh, the last thing we want to be doing in Ramadan al-Mubarak is being uh, making videos against this Mangetar so uh, Mawlana Osman sahab inshallah he's brought all his books uh, he's got all the references marked inshallah and one by one he is going to show you the correct maliki aqida imam malik's aqida and the aqida of all those people who understood the aqida of imam malik a million times better than this mangetar from birmingham so it's very Im- important see you know he all he's always talking about voice of reason voice of reason voice of reason my brothers you tell me how well does this stand you know alongside Uh, the voice of reason that those people who were uh, 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 you know uh, who had the honor to be a lot closer in time to imam malik rahmatullahi who understood the full entire mazhab of imam malik that we leave them people and we leave their understanding of imam malik's aqida and we leave their understanding of the maliki mazhab and we go to this individual this mangetar who doesn't even know how to spell against ٹھیک ہے ان شاء اللہ سو مولانا اف یو جو سونا اسٹا اف جزاک اللہ مولانا بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم الحمد للہ رب العالمین والصلاۃ والسلام علی سید الانبیاء والمرسلین سیدنا و نبینا و مولانا محمد و علی آلہ و اصحابہ اجمعین اما بعد سو از مولانا عبد الحلیم صاحب ہز مینشنڈ دا پریویسلی وی پریزنٹڈ فرام دی اتبیہ two statements from Imam Malik rahimahullah which clearly prove that Imam Malik rahimahullah is of the belief or was of the belief that Isa alayhi salam is going to return number one we explained the statement that he tried to twist and interpret wrongly from the Utbiyah and that was finished there previously I gave a reference from Ad-Dirdir Maliki rahimahullah's book Sharh uh, al-Kharida al-Bahiyya an Aqeedah book in which he makes it very clear that is from the things that it is wajib to bring Iman upon and is necessary articles of faith to believe in the return of Isa alayhi salam and um, so these are from Imam Malik rahimahullah then from Imam Malik rahimahullah I brought because one of the um, uh, one of the issues that they bring up especially Ghamdi sahab who is one of the spiritual forefathers or spiritual fathers of uh, Mangetar from Birmingham is one of the things they bring up is there is no hadith in the Muwatta yani there is nothing musnadan min tariqi Malik from the chain of Malik rahimahullah to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam why has an Imam Malik rahimahullah narrated from Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam this thing which has become so common in the Muslim world regarding the return of Isa alayhi salam in other words they are trying to allude to the fact of their belief which is this came from Christian thought and just to clear here one point that people have been asking us why do you call him Mirzai he's clearly refuted the Qadianis inshallah Mawlana after Ramadan okay this is a Qarz and a debt upon us we are going to explain to you why we call him a follower of Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani just because he's refuted them in one or two things that doesn't mean that he can hide from them he has his roots in Mirza Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani's books and that will also be opened as well just like he has his roots in other deviants uh, uh, um, you know in the past these things will be opened up inshallah ta'ala inshallah, inshallah. so now inshallah i'm going to go through um, some references now monon has mentioned you know, all but there's actually more references as well but you know how many references are we going to need he hasn't presented a single thing he's brought one thing from the utbiya yak mata isa these words and the Malikiyah have interpreted that that he stayed in the dunya for this long and then he was raised so even that 
was smashed back in his face by the Malikis. He hasn't presented anything from the Malikis, number one. Mara, can I just mention uh, another point here? Uh, even if, you know, the Malikiya didn't give that interpretation, yeah. and we take the literal interpretation that he's died, it still doesn't go against us. Yeah. Just because Isa alayhi salatu wa salam has, let's say, imagine, literally passed away, it still doesn't go against. Because Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can miraculously bring him back again. Yeah, so I clear this yeah. point yeah. there as well, that um, one thing is the ascension, one thing is the descension, and these are from the fundamentals of Islam. With regards to Kaifiyat al-Rafa, how Isa alayhi salam was raised, was it in the form of him being alive, awake, or temporary, um, you know, that these type of things you'll find within the books and they're not considered believing in any one specific one as necessary article of faith. Yes, the, the madhab of the Jumhur and the uh, majority of uh, the Muslim scholars is that he was raised alive with his body and soul. He wasn't in a state, um, you know, of death at that time. But they all agree upon one thing, physical ascension and physical descension. And this is our purpose here. Yeah. Okay, so now inshallah I'm going to bring you uh, some references from various books. So some of them will be hadith commentaries from Aqidah books. And this is something which we've clarified pre previously Morana, yeah. as well. That is across the board. And you know this concept of Maliki Aqidah. First and foremost, there's no such thing as Maliki Aqidah. Or Hanafi Aqidah. Or, you know, uh, um, I need the uh, password. Yeah. Yeah, there's no such thing as Hanbali Aqidah or Maliki Aqidah or, you know, this Aqidah or that Aqidah with regards to the fundamentals of Islam. There's no such thing as this. Yes, with regards to some tafsil or some detail, you might find, you know, something here or something there. But they didn't, no, no uh, one school had their own Aqidah. So if you look at Imam Tahawi, Rahimahullah, Hada dhikru bayani Aqidati ahli sunnah wal, wal jama'ah. Yeah, yeah. he remembers, that he mentions the three Imams. Abu Hanifa rahimahullah, Imam uh, Qazi Abu Yusuf rahimahullah, Imam Muhammad rahimahullah. That's, that's just for making clear that he, you know, he ascribes to this uh, uh, madhab. But he doesn't mean that they had their own aqidah. Balki their aqidah is prevalent in the Muslim lands. So that's one thing that needs to be cleared. Okay. Now, inshallah, I'm going to start presenting the references. The references, brothers, okay, brothers have asked us that where's the scans now on the screen? So the scans you'll find on all our social media platforms, you'll find that on Telegram, Facebook, uh, Instagram, and uh, Twitter as well. So inshallah, all the scans we're presenting in this video or other videos as well, as the video comes out, the same time you'll find it there as well. So that's for those who are interested in actually seeing the scans. Right, so here I have in front of me first reference. This is from Abu Bakr ibn al-Arabi, rahimahullah ta'ala. He has a commentary of, on the Jami of Imam Tirmidhi, rahimahullah. This is known as Aridatul Ahwazi. Okay. And in this commentary, right, he, on the Babu Nuzuli Isa, alayhi salam, he mentions that Wasardul Amri an Isa ibn Maryam yanzilu min as-sama. In a nutshell, he's saying, that Isa al Islam is going to descend from the skies. Wahua fiha hayyun. Okay. And he is currently alive in the skies. And then he goes on to say, Bayyannahu fi tafsir. That this is based upon what we've mentioned in tafsir. So he has a tafsir as well. I'm not even going to go into his tafsir because then it's just going to be yeah, yeah, long enough. Yeah. So those students of knowledge who want to read this in more depth go to his tafsir. Read on the verses وَمَكَرُوا وَمَكَرَ اللَّهُ وَاللَّهُ خَيْرُ الْمَاكِرِينَ إِذْ قَالَ اللَّهُ يَا عِيسَى إِنِّي مُتَوَفِّيكَ وَرَافِعُكَ In Surah Al Imran. Then you can also go to Surah Nisa وَإِن مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا لَيُؤْمِنَ النَّبِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِهِ And then you can also go to Zukhruf وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٌ لِلسَّاعَةِ فَلَا تَمْتَرُنَّ بِهَا وَاتَّبِعُونَ هذا صراط مستقيم. And if you want to read extra, you can also go to uh, the end of Ma'idam. فَلَمَّا تَوَفَّيْتَنِي كُنْتَ أَنْتَ الرَّقِيبَ عَلَيْهِمْ You may find something there as well. Nevertheless, here he's clearly saying that he is going to descend from the skies. He is alive at this moment. And this thing I have made very clear uh, here as well. And he says, وَكِتَابِ سِرَاجِ الْمُرِيدِينَ And another book he 
um, indicates towards that this book as well, I have cleared this mas'ala. And then he brings the famous hadith uh, on the Dawaladi Nafsi, Biyadihi la yushikanna yanzila fikum ibn Maryam hakaman adla. The famous hadith, authentic hadith. And inshallah, after Ramadan, when we start discussing the hadith, and Mawlana is going to make some more videos on this, inshallah, we'll go into them. So I don't want to divert from the actual topic. So this is, you know, a giant of a Maliki. Uh, 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 he's from the 6th century Okay So now All these Maliki are saying one thing And here we have a Mangetar Claimant Maliki Who is actually Mirzai Follower of Javed Ahmed Ghamdi Sir Sayyid Khan Here a Murtad type of guy Who's got you know His, his uh, ears and probably uh, Other parts of his body uh, Pierced Right and, and he's talking about being a Maliki And he's trying to dictate to the Muslim world what you know, Maliki have said, but which Maliki do you have some imaginary stuff? Do you have if you have, then bring it out. And Morana Kamal ki baat ye hai, ke this guy has gone into hiding. Yeah, as soon as we've come out, he started remembering some uh, Sita and Gita and some things here and some masala here and there. And all of a sudden, he's he just <coughs> I'm still confused who's Sita and which one's Sita, who's Gita. Are you Sita? I'm Gita. Whoa, whoa. Like, I still don't know if you make that clear. You know, you know, please make a video to tell us which one we are. We need to put on our passports, like I told you. Yeah. Anyway. anyway, so, Monana, Alhamdulillah, you know, the, these are overwhelming uh, narrations. Now, he refers to Ibn Hazm Zahiri, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, as the dawn, again and again, dawn. Everyone's a dawn for him. And when you give references against him, then, you know, he's probably cursing them in the night. So, such is his zandaka that everyone's a don when he needs them. Yeah. When he finds something and then he'll twist it, use the oh, he's a don. And if, it's go, if it goes against him, then he'll just remain quiet and go on to his other topics. Yeah, he's just a person. person That's what he's yeah. He has made his desires his lord. Simple. So I have in front of me here Al Fasl fil Milal wal Ahwa wal Nihal. Right. And here Ibn Hazm Zahiri, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, who was a literary scholar. So remember, I'm, I'm including him not because he's Maliki. Yeah? This uh, scholar from Muslim Spain, I'm not including him because, because he keeps referring to him as the Don. This is why I'm including him here, Mona, yeah. purposely. And he's actually, I've heard him on video, I will try to get it. Where he talks about how how much he's influenced by influenced Ibn Hazm. Yeah. What is my opinion of Ibn Hazm? I love Ibn Hazm. Ibn Hazm was a don of this ummah. Honestly, an amazing, amazing person. Absolutely, I'm fond of him. So fond of him. What are your views on Ibn Hazm? Ibn Hazm was a legend, people. He was a legend. Ah, oh, you gotta love Ibn Hazm. Oh, I, he's, you know, there are a few, there are, I love the scholars of Islam, historical scholars of Islam, I love them. But there are some that so come to life in front of me, honestly. I have like a, and amongst them is Ibn Hazm. He, he was amazing. He was like a... Yeah, yeah. This is a 5th century scholar, okay, volume 1, here in volume 1, he discusses the issue of the finality of prophethood of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. So he said, alayna al -inqiyadu lima atawbihi. That it is necessary upon us to submit to whatever the prophets have brought. Yeah? And then he says, وَلَزِمَنَا تَيَقُّنُوا كُلِّ مَا قَالُوا And it is necessary upon us to have yaqeen and certainty in everything the prophets have said. وَقَدْ صَحَّعَ الرَّسُولِ اللَّهِ صَلَّى اللَّهِ بِنَقْلِ الْكَوَافِ الَّتِي نَقَلَتْ نُبُوَّتَهُ وَأَعْلَامَهُ وَكِتَابَهُ Basically, he says, it is authentically proven from Rasulullah sallallahu with through the transmission of whole groups like kafa and kafa. Whole. This, this is another way of saying mutawatir, mass transmission, who have transmitted the nubuwa and actual prophethood of Rasulullah they have uh, 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 um, transmitted the book of Rasulullah the Quran what, what has come? أَخْبَرَ أَنَّهُ لَا نَبِيَّ بَعْدَهُ 
that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi said there is no Nabi to come. In other words, he has come through mass transmission, the aqidah of khatme nubuwwat. Illa ma ja'at al akhbaru al sihahu an nuzuli Isa alayhi salam alladhi bu'itha ila Bani Israel wadda al yahudu qatlahu wa salbah. He says, the only exception to this is the authentic narrations that have come regarding the descension of Isa alayhi salam that Isa alayhi salam who was sent to the Israelites and the Jews claimed to have killed him and crucified him. فَوَجَبَ الْإِقْرَارُ بِهَذِهِ بِهَذِهِ الْجُمْلَةِ It is necessary to believe in all this. Necessary to believe it. So why is he bringing it alongside? Aqidah of Khatme Nubuwat and on par with the Aqidah of Return of Isa alayhi salam. Otherwise, can anyone override the Aqidah of Khatme Nubuwat? If it's one random hadith, Mawlana, one random hadith here or one random hadith there and he's saying binakl al kaffa you know kawaf is a, a plural of kaffa whole whole groups have narrated this tawato of khatm and nubuat and it's the ijma and the consensus of the um, of ummat rasulullah was final prophet and he's making an exception to that can an exception be made on one week narration or two or three or four and here he's, he says what Anwar Shah Kashmir is going to challenge on this with regards to 60 hadith being weak and false attribution and lie. This man lies through his teeth. Lies, Molana. He's a compulsive liar. I think he lies for breakfast, lunch, and supper. <laughs> yeah. Such is this man. You know, he's got no integrity. He's, he has no morals. This man is not honest for a single moment. Mona, you know, I would say, Magitar, if you don't want to give jawab and answer anything that we've given or anything that we're going to give, just come out and give us an answer for, just for this one Ibn Hazm text that we're giving you. Just this one text that we are giving you from Ibn Hazm, rahimahullah, just come out and answer that for us, please. Please. Please, yaar. Allah ke waste. Ah, na yaar. Just, 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 just give us a little, little answer. Little, little. Mukhtasar answer. Just for this. Come out and give us it. And inshallah we'll be happy. Same book, Marana. Volume 5. Ibn Hazm. Zahiri. Rahimahullah. In volume 5, he brings up the same issue. He says, فَكَيْفَ يَسْتَجِيزُ مُسْلِمٌ أَنْ يُثْبِتَ بَعْدَهُ عَلَيْهِ سَلَامْ نَبِيًّا فِي الْأَرْضِ حَاشَا مَسْتَثْنَاهُ رَسُولُ اللَّهِ صَلَى اللَّهِ عَلَيْهِ سَلَامْ فِي الْأَثَارِ الْمُسْنَدَةِ الثَّابِتَةِ مِنْ نُزُولِ إِسَى عَلَيْهِ سَلَامْ فِي آخِرِ الزَّمَانِ How can a Muslim see it permissible to, uh, to believe in or affirm a Nabi in the lands after Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم? No way. No way. No way. Only exception that can be made is that which Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam has made an exception himself. That have come in authentic musnada athar musnada thabita al athar al musnada al thabita hadiths that are with chains. Chains established. Al thabita established, not weak, not sixty weak, not Morana Anwar Shah Kashmiri Rai Allah saying sixty weak, and Morana is gonna explain. That inshallah and challenge you on that with regards to the nuzul of Isa alayhi salam. Moving on to the next reference. Ibn Battal Maliki rahimahullah. A great scholar of the Malikis. A great muhaddis. Anyone who is in the science of hadith. So that's two, two references done. Two references. Two, re two references done. This is the third one. Listen carefully brothers and sisters please. So here I have in front of me Fathul Bari. Okay. I've got the actual book as well. Right, and I will present the scan insha'Allah. Here, Fathul Bari of Hafiz ibn Hajar al Asqalani rahimahullahu ta'ala. And he explains with regards to um, Ibn Battal Maliki rahimahullah's aqidah on this. So he says, Wa innama qabilnaha qabla nuzuli Isa alayhi salam lil hajja ila al mal. Bi khilafi zamani Isa, fa inna hu la yuhtaju fiha ila al mal, fa inna al mal fi zamani hi yakthuru hatta la yakbalahu ahadun. Okay? 
is explaining an issue with regards to taking uh, uh, jizya, yeah. okay, and why jizya will drop in the time of uh, 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 you know so the, 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 no one will be ready. Hatta la yakbalahu ahadun comes in the narrations. No one the wayafidul mal money um, you know uh, uh, riches will become so abundant. That no one will be ready to accept anything from anyone. No one will be in need. So he says that mal and money in the time of Isa salam will be in abundance. No one will be ready to take this. So what is his aqidah? His aqidah is that Isa salam is going to return and things will be very, 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 uh, uh, what do you say? Uh, you know, flourishing, prosperous, the world will be a beautiful, peaceful place to live. And this uh, 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 Murtab, yeah, Mangetar, right, mocks this belief, yeah. mocks this belief, Murtab. This loves. is something that he mocks, and this is something, inshallah, we're going to also answer. He's raised objections and arguments against says, how can the world become a better place? How can the whole entire world become a really, really nice place? Inshallah ta'ala, we are going to explain to you from the Quran and from the Sunnah and from Inshallah reason how this is going to happen and how it doesn't go against Quran, it doesn't go against Hadith, it doesn't go against reason Inshallah. So the, these points Inshallah, don't think that we're going to dodge anything. Every argument he brings Inshallah you're going to receive an, uh, an answer and it's going to be a satisfying an, an answer. All we just need from you guys is patience. Right, Monana, next. Qadi Iyad Maliki Rahimahullah Ta'ala Once again, I'm sure he's referred to him I think I've heard him Molana, referring to him The Dawn, you know, great scholar He's this, he's that So a lot of the times, a lot of ulama are not Known as or as well known in other madhabs Qadi Iyad is one of those people that is Undeniably known I mean he's just like the, he's a legend when it comes, it doesn't matter what madhab you're from, you've heard of Qadi Iyad. Yeah. So, you know, Mawla, you know how he bigs people up? Yeah. And then he runs with his tail between his legs, yeah? <laughs> when he's got no answer. So how is he going to answer these texts, Mawla? This whole thing he says is based upon, and we need to, Mawla, we're missing one point. Okay, and I expected you to bring this up with regards to what does he call those people who believe... Uh, in this belief, which is the whole of the Muslim world, tribalistic, tribalistic people who sat around, campfires, yeah, campfire, listening yeah. to irrationalists, I irrationalists, irrationalists, and he calls him, tries to refer to himself as a rationalist. Yeah. Correct? We're going to see now. Yeah. It doesn't have to make sense. It's never about making sense. It's okay because it's mythology. It's like a tribalistic. We're born as Hindus. We will be like Hindus. It doesn't matter. It's not about me. And to many Muslims, it's the same. Right. So you need this is the same thing. So to many Muslims, they're just born Muslims. They just need stories. And I think, uh, uh, you know, as as one brother, local brother said it well, that these are some of the best stories in Islam. As they are in other religions as well, about the end of time, there will be a great battle between evil and good and superpowers and there will be a super bad guy who will have incredible powers and there will be a super good guy who will have incredible powers. And, and this is found in Hinduism when they speak about Vishnu coming back, it's found in Christianity that Jesus will come back, it's found in Muslim stories as well about the Mahdi will come, uh, about Jesus will come, all these kind of things. So these stories are there in all religions as part of a kind of this superhero narrative for tribalism, for this broad camp of people. Because you have to remember that in the olden days, how did people pass time? One of the greatest human inventions is stories, storytelling. That we tell stories to each other from time around a campfire to in villages in when people get together they tell stories what do they tell their children they tell them stories so this is also a great story to tell the epic you know the armageddon all this it's a story so this is how the why these things are incredibly receptive to human beings 
So this mangetar thinks he's got reasoning. This mangetar thinks he's got good logic. Yeah. Right? And the same people he claims to ascribe to, the Malikiya, okay? And he says, Wabi Athari, Ahlil Madina, you know. Mawlana, it's Salah, all, all drama. It's all drama. All drama. All drama. And drama. his drama, Mawlana, I think, is actually being opened up. Yeah. This is what we're definitely, doing now. It's just, just icing. It's just a bit of, like he says himself, masala, just a masala. bit of extra. This is, this is our masala segment. This is the masala segment. So, Qadi Yad Maliki Rai Mawlana, as is evident through his name, Qadi, jurist. Yeah, Qadi, judge. So, these are no normal people. These are people who were seniors, who were, you know, running the courts, who were running institutions in their eras. Yes, definitely. Right? And obviously, they ascribe, they, they, they're from the Maliki Madhab in terms of fiqh and in terms of aqidah, ahlus sunnah wal jama'ah. And now, look, I have in front of me uh, the sharh of Al Imam An Nawawi, rahimahullah, on Sahih Muslim. And Imam Nawawi, rahimahullah, Himself, obviously, the Shafi'i. So I'm not bringing what Imam Nawi Rahimahullah has said. Inshallah, down the line, we'll present all the Hafiz yeah. ibn Hajar. There's much more. I mean, Marana, you can probably make 200 yeah. uh, episodes to this series if you were to go in what other scholars have written. We're just here on the Malikiya. He says, Qal yeah. al-Qadhi Rahimahullah ta'ala. Qadhi Iyad Maliki Rahimahullah has mentioned, Nuzuli Isa alayhi salam wa qatluhu ad-dajjala. Haqqun wa sahihun in the ahli sunnati. Wal Jama'ah or in the Ahli Sunnah Lil Ahadith is Sahihati fi Dalika. He says the coming down, the dissension of Isa alayhi salam and him killing the Dajjal is the truth, it is authentic according to Ahlu Sunnah because of the authentic narrations with regards to that. Walaysa fil Akli wala fi Shari ma yubtilu. Subhanallah. There is nothing in, with, in, in sound reasoning. In being rational, rationality, there is nothing in logic or anything in shariat which invalidates, which does ibtal and basically makes us, uh, uh, um, you know, move away from this belief of the coming of Isa alayhi Now it's all about just making sense to me. If this group says something, it makes sense, alhamdulillah, I'll embrace it. You know, if it's in light with the Quran, Sunnah, as understood uh, through reason, as the school of Ahl Madinah have taught us. If this group says something, it makes sense, Alhamdulillah, I'll embrace it. If this group says something, it makes sense, Alhamdulillah, I'll embrace it. If this group says something, it makes sense, Alhamdulillah, I'll embrace it. As understood uh, through reason, as the school of Ahl Madinah have taught us. Reason, as the school of Ahl Madinah have taught us. Reason, as the school of Ahl Madinah have taught us. Reason, as the school of Ahl Madinah have taught us. What is he saying? Aqal and Naqal. Aqal and Shara. Aqal. There is nothing in Aqal. So where has this man got his Aqal from? This is Satanic Aqal. Satanic. 100%. Satanic Aqal. Satanic Aqal. You know this thing he keeps bringing up or this reasoning is against reasoning. This whole thing. Marana, he's got the, he's got the mindset of the Mushrikeen of Makkah. Asatirul Awwaleen. Again and again, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala breaks this belief of theirs. Where Rasulullah would Salam bring them something of the past. Okay. And what were they saying? These are, uh, these are just tales of the earlier people. Rasulullah sallallahu is bringing, you know, uh, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, one, uh, uh, um, um, we bring you the qissas and the stories of the previous prophets, ma nuthabbitu bihi fu'adak. To strengthen your heart. You know, just I'm just looking at how clear that is. وَلَيْسَ فِي الْعَقْلِ وَلَا فِي الشَّرْعِ مَا يُبْطِلُهُ Subhanallah. There's nothing in reason, there's nothing in shariat which invalidates it. How more clear do you want it, Mulana? And even that from a Maliki scholar. Even though he's got no connection with Malik, but how more Mulana, clear If this you want man it? was at the time of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, I'm just saying, look, yeah, guaranteed, yeah, his fitrat the way it is now, he would have been amongst the mushrikeen of Makkah, Definitely. saying Asatir al awali Because he's got the same principles. He's got the same principles as those people. Because what? Look, it's something which is from the Ghaibiyyat. It's something which has come from the unseen, 
This is from the Al Akbar Al Maghiba. The, from the Maghiba, the things which are the unseen, and Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi tells us with regards to them, prophecies to come, etc. Now, he, 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 he blasts these, he rejects them on the basis of what? His weak, mangator type, Birmingham Aqal. Sorry, no offense to Birmingham brothers, mashallah, we know good brothers there who have Aqal, but it seems like he's the only one there that doesn't have Aqal. And then look what, look what I just, I'm just looking at that. Look what he says. وَأَنْكَ ذَلِكَ بَعْضُ الْمُؤْتَزِلَى وَالْجَهْمِيَى وَمَنْ وَافَقَهُمْ Yep. The only people who have rejected this is who? The Mu'tazila. The Mu'tazila and the Jahmiya and those who have gone basically in accordance to them. Now it's all about just making sense. Now it's all about just making sense. Now it's all about just making sense. Now it's all about just making sense to me. We're going to go on to these issues inshallah. And, and, and if time allows, his kind of, uh, um, the fact that he leans towards Mu'tazila in many things, yeah. yeah, right? And he sits with uh, his friend Akram Nadwi, okay? And in certain issues, they both say Mu'tazilite thought. Yeah, yeah. And inshallah, in time, good time, we're going to bring these issues up. For now, we need to understand. Qadi Yad Maliki Rahimahullah is saying what? وَلَيْسَ فِي الْعَقْلِ وَلَا فِي الشَّرْعِ مَا يُبْطِلُهُ There is nothing in aql, in reasoning, okay, in logic, and there is nothing in shariat which invalidates us believing in the uh, uh, second coming of Isa alayhi salam. فَوَجَبَ إِثْبَاتُهُ So it is necessary to affirm this belief. And what does he say? The opposite. It doesn't make sense, so it's necessary to reject, reject. and then he mocks it. And he, he goes on the line as if he's so munsif and academically just <laughs> that look, it's fine, why can't you just accept me? You know, he plays this kind of like, he goes on the moral high ground. Yeah, yeah, yeah. After mocking it, after writing KFC on his forehead, okay, <laughs> this mangator mocks every other hadith, okay, he mocks the sentiments and the aqidah of the ummah and then he said oh how come you can't tolerate that and he finds it hard to tolerate when he gets mocked yeah so his only cure for those people who say you know brothers grow up brothers this alhamdulillah we're grown up yeah and we're growing as well <laughs> inshallah but to say grow up no tell him grow up and our question to these brothers is yeah. how many times have you messaged him or are your messages only reserved for those people who react to him Anyway, and then, like you mentioned, وَأَنْكَرَ ذَلِكَ بَعْضُ الْمُعْتَزِلَةِ وَالْجَهْمِيَّةِ وَمَنْ وَافَقَهُمْ That the, the people uh, uh, who have rejected this belief are some Mu'tazilites, some Jahmiyyah, and those people who kind of are, uh, um, you know, correspond with them or on the same belief as them. وَزَعَمُوا أَنَّ هَذِي الْأَحَادِيثَ مَرْدُودَةٌ بِقَوْلِهِ تَعَالَى وَخَاتَمَ النَّبِيِّينَ They believe that these ahadith are rejected because of the verse wa khatam al nabiyyin wa bi qawlihi la nabiyya ba'di wa bi ijma'i al muslimin annahu la nabiyya ba'da nabiyyina sallallahu alayhi wasallam wa anna shari'atahu mu'abbatatun ila yawm al qiyamati la tunsakhu and then he goes on to another thing with regards to their reasoning that their reasoning for this now mona if you look at it his reasoning is actually worse than the more because yeah. obviously, obviously they're trying to use verses of the holy quran and this yeah. has been explained his reasoning is nothing but mocking. Mocking. So, anyway, I'm not going to go into yeah. this with regards to their reasoning, the Mu'tazilai reasoning, that this goes against finality of prophethood, etc. It's been mentioned in books again and again and again. So, we'll move on to the next reference. We've done the Utbiyah. So, I'll go past that, inshallah. Next reference with regards to Aqidah. I'm going to show you now from a Maliki uh, Aqidah book. I've shown you from Sharhul Kharida al Bahiya in the past. And now I'm going to show you from Ar Risalatul Wafiya. This is a book. He was a Maliki Don. He was a giant in many uh, 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 sciences. One of them was the Ilm of Qiraat of Quran. He was a great scholar. He was a muqri. Okay. Qurtubi scholar. Uthman bin Sa'id ad-Dani. And he 
passed away 444 after Hijrah. He's got a book on Aqidah. It's called Ar Risalatul Wafiya. Now, he brings uh, Aqidah number 168 and 169. Faslun fi ashratis sa'a. Okay? Chapter with regards to the signs of the hour. Wa min qawlihim. إِنَّ الْإِيمَانَ وَاجِبٌ بِمَا جَاءَ عَنْ رَسُولِ اللَّهِ صلى الله عليه وسلم وَثَبَتَ بِالنَّقْلِ الصَّحِيحِ وَتَدَاوَلَ حَمْلَهُ الْمُسْلِمُونَ مِنْ ذِكْرِ وَعِيدِ الْآخِرَةِ He says basically, Iman is necessary upon that which Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم has brought, has come from Rasulullah صلى الله عليه وسلم and وَثَبَتَ بِالنَّقْلِ الصَّحِيحِ and is established with authentic transmission and Tadawala hamlahu al Muslimun. That the Muslims transmitted it from to one another. Okay? Yani idun tana lak nakal. And then he explains the different things like the wa'id of akhirah, etc. etc. And then he explains, you know, the fitna of the jal and that the jal will have Jannah and uh, fire and his Jannah will be actually be uh, uh, Jahannam and his Jahannam or his fire will actually be Jannah and the fact that Isa Islam will kill him. And he will die. min ahlil kufri The next aqidah is given a special fasal fi nuzuli Isa salam. Okay, chapter with regards to the uh, uh, coming down of Isa alayhi salam. Wa minhu nuzulu Isa alayhi salam wa kasruhu as saliba. From amongst the aqidahs that is necessary to uh, 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 believe in is the aqidah of the descension of Isa alayhi salam and the fact that he will. Uh, break the cross. وَقَتْلُ وَالْخِنْزِيرَ وَالدَّجَّالَ وَتَقَعُ الْأَمَنَةُ فِي الْأَرْضِ وَتَكُونُ الدَّعْوَةُ لِلَّهِ رَبِّ الْعَالَمِينَ And there will be peace on earth. Mama, is he yeah. saying he's going to force people to embrace? No. Yeah. Is he saying there's only going to be sword or embracing? No. So this stuff that he, he brings as a barrier between him and embracing this aqidah is actually his imaginary kind of made-up stuff. وَقَالَ عَزَّ مِنْ قَائِلْ and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَإِمْ مِنْ أَهْلِ الْكِتَابِ إِلَّا لَيُؤْمِنَ النَّبِهِ قَبْلَ مَوْتِ Yani, قَبْلَ مَوْتِ Isa alayhi salam إِذَا نَزَلَ That there will be none from the people of the book except they will certainly, more definitely, most definitely believe before his death, i.e. before the death of Isa alayhi salam, when he returns and he descends. وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمُ لِسَاعَةِ And then he says, Allah also says that Isa alayhi salam is a sign, a sign, a sign for the hour, Yani Isa alayhi salam. In other words, Isa alayhi salam, that, so that who in there, wa inna yeah. who, and indeed he so, is a sign for the hour. This Maliki Aqidah expert is saying, this who there is referring to Isa alayhi salam, that indeed Isa alayhi salam is a sign of the hour. So these Malikis are not only just bringing this as a belief, from Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi and that has been transmitted, they are actually saying this belief finds its roots in the Holy Quran. Quran. Mm. Okay. Mashallah. Next. So next time, Murana, next, you know the next time, you see, this is how we deal with the deviants. He says he's Maliki. So now, these Malikis now are going to be used as hujja against him each yeah. time. Yeah. Every time he says, this belief is not found in Quran. We're going to say all the Malikiya says is, is in Quran. Yeah. You see, where people go wrong with him is they sit with him and they start doing their own usuls with him as if they're an authority and he's like, you know, accepting them as ustadji. Yes, I'm going to believe everything you say. No. We're going to use his own people that he calls dons and explain that they believed is in Quran. First, openly, publicly say that I have nothing to do with them in this belief. Will he say that? He won't say that. Well, Why? There's only, there's only two ways. Either they understood the Quran or either you understand it. Either they got it wrong or either you got it wrong. Simple as that. There's no other way about it. It's either they've understood it, either they've understood it wrong or you've understood it wrong. One of you are wrong. You can't both be wrong, you can't both be right. All of them, every single one of them, you can't show us one who has not, who has left them. In the first 12, 13 centuries of Islam, you can't bring a Maliki who's gone against these. Yep. yep. They're all in one boat. Yep. And you, you're in the boat that you came in from Pakistan. Go on. And even one of the one or two that he tries to bring, just for our uh, viewers, we're going to explain them. 
ya shaltut ibn ashu we gonna go inshallah into yeah, them yeah, as yeah. well they will also be taken away from them they many of them did not have the aqidah of mangetar sab okay so this will also be made clear he'll be left alone he'll have no one there to help him next kitabul muntaqa al muntaqa shara and commentary of muwatta imam malik oh, rahimahullah abul wal sixton i can remember one of them i think it's about six there okay yeah so we're on the sixth one boys right keep so this count, is for count. from abul walid al baji rahimahullah and i believe he's also and if we find these videos inshallah i'll get the admin to put at the end of this video where he's just praising them he's calling each one a don so when it's time to show his library of their dons their dons and when they're talking about the return of isa alayhi salam or the tribalistic yeah. uh, people who yeah. sat around come fire they, they didn't have they didn't have reason they didn't have reason they didn't they didn't bechari kun understand that they عون المعبود عن أبو تعود ابن عبد البار الباجي ابن عربي صديقا أول أحاديث ذيك. Okay, fifth century scholar born in 403 after Hijra and passed away in 494 after Hijra. And once again, Molana, just to make clear with regards to Imam Malik رحمه الله's belief. So Abu Walid Baji رحمه الله, giant of Maliki. commentator of motta yeah, yeah? mangeta has not any commentary mangeta mangeta has got nothing mangeta probably can even read ibarat of motta yeah if you sit mangeta down and yeah. ask him read the text yeah i mean the man who calls the moon a football what commentary is <laughs> what commentary of motta is he going to write you know forget arabic this guy don't know english straight he can't write again agesat <laughs> yeah agesat he can't pronounce prelude yeah prelude a gesset right and mangeta he was in mangeta tops yeah pierced all over his body extra and extra he is talking about imam malik rahimahullah imam you know imam udari hijra subhanallah yeah. what to say about imam malik rahimahullah molana i want to dedicate the sawab of this rad to imam malik rahimahullah subhanallah yeah subhanallah. we dedicate the sawab of this rad to imam malik rahimahullah subhanallah we want to make defense of imam malik rahimahullah why molana he defended the sunnah of rasulullah yeah. sallallahu we defend them yeah definitely yeah with the servants of the servants of rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam inshallah inshallah so now look molana what is abu walid baji rahimahullah saying wa fil utbiyati an malik qala bainama an-nas yak he says imam malik rahimahullah in the utbiyah has said and i mentioned this whilst people are going to be waiting for salah yak yasma'una al-iqamata yuriduna as-salata fa taghshahum ghamamatun fa idha isa ibn maryam qad nazala imam malik rahimahullah said people will be in the state of like you know like you have soft standing listening to the iqama just they're making intention for salah a cloud will come and isa alayhi salam will have descended Who is saying this? Imam Malik. Who is quoting this? Abu Walid Baji. In what? Sharaf Muatta. Mashallah. Clear words. Qad Nazala. And here we have Mangetar saying, "Not going to return." And then he has the audacity to say, "I'm a Maliki." Like we've said again and again, if anything, you're Mirzai. If anything, you're a Ghamdi. If anything, your spiritual forefather is Sir Sayyid Khan. If anything, Ghulam Ahmad Parvez. You know, the manna imadi. All these boys are yours. You're a Quranite, Quranist. You're not even a, 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 a anywhere close to a Lusunna or Muslim. You're not even a noble human being, let alone yeah. um, a Maliki. Which noble human being pierces nipples, man? <laughs> so anyway, I'm moving on. And just a reminder, inshallah, all these scans will be put on our. social media platforms monona i have a reference here uh, from the mufti of misr but i'm going to leave this you know when we bring the issue of uh, shaltut okay yak okay yeah. and um, did he actually die upon this belief yeah or did he retract inshallah i'm going to bring this Jing. here right so we'll leave this for now then inshallah i have Ibn Abdul Bar and I definitely know I think we've brought actually his we brought his clip right um 
with regards to calling him a dawn, he says he is like this and he was next level. This people is by the dawn of the Maliki Madhab, Ibn Abd al-Bar, al-Hafidh Abu Umar. Ibn Abd al-Bar was from Muslim Spain, Cordoba. Okay, this is the 5th century scholar, um, 368 after Hijrah born and passed away for 63. Okay, Ibn Abd al-Bar al-Maliki rahimahullah. He's got a masterpiece of a country and I think I've referred to it previously as well. At-Tamheed lima fil muwatta min al-ma'ani wal asanid. He's got commentary, a very in-depth, long commentary. Uh, just to buy this commentary, so many volumes cost over 200 pounds. Just that one uh, set. So I don't have it, um, but inshallah I'm going to present the scans and it's volume 14. He starts, he, he, Imam uh, 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 Allama Ibn Abdul Bar rahimahullah, brings up the issue of Utbiyah again. Okay, this whole issue of Imam Malik, you know, this with chainless report from Imam Malik, Isa Islam has passed away. And like we've explained, passed away, no passed away. One thing is for clear, went up and it's going to come down. Right. He brings this up and then he says, that those people who believe that Isa alayhi salam has passed away, okay, and that his tawafi was a tawafi of maud, right? He says, "Wala khujjata fi hadal hadith li man zama anhu mata li anhu yahtamilu an yakuna." And then he breaks this belief. He says there is no, and he doesn't call them Malikis. He's refuting people who 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 believed. In Isa alayhi salam having passed away, he says, he goes and brings, he says, he says, what dalil ala sihhati hadha al qawl, and the proof on the authenticity of this opinion and this aqidah of Isa alayhi salam going, uh, uh, going to return ma thabata anin nabi sallallahu alayhi wasallam fi nuzulihi wa qatlihi ad-dajjala that which is authentically proven from rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam with regards to his descension and the fact that he will kill the kill dajjal wa hajjihi al-bayt and the fact that he will do hajj he'll visit kaaba he'll do umrah hajj bi asanida la mat'ana fiha with such chains that there is no criticism with regards to these chains. And what does this Bekhara do? This Bekhara sits there and starts criticizing chains of narration in which inshallah we're going to get to and we're going to make specific videos on those chains and we're going to refute his criticism and we're going to show you how every criticism that he's made how he's taken it out of uh, uh, how he's lied and how he has ignored in other places, those same narrators being praised. But you can see here clearly how these Malikiya are saying that they are such asanid that they have no criticism inside them. Yeah, you can't knock them, in other words. La, yeah. the asanida la mat'ana fiha. They are chains that you cannot criticize. Yeah. Not criticize meaning you can have criticism on one narrator, yeah. but you as a whole. Well, that on one narrator, you'll get everywhere. Yeah. There's no narrator who hasn't been uh, criticized. Yeah. Every single narrator has been criticized. More or less, yeah. But Morana, you know, accepting criticism, there's usul. That which criticism you're going to accept, which criticism you're not going to accept. And there's books written in it. A rafwa takmil. Books like this tell you that how you deal with such a science, where you accept praise. Where you accept criticism, where you you know leave, so this is what he's totally ignored. He's taken books off a shelf, or he's basically gone on some site where these narrators have been criticized, and he's just read out the criticism. Malala, basically, like we've mentioned previously, is a Quranite, yeah. Quraniyun, Quranist. He is a rejecter of the Sunnah of Rasulullah. So this is an notion. Yeah. Take it. This way, he's just doing it a very sly way. way. That's all he's That's doing. That's all it is. That's all it is. It's the exact same thing because, Molana, uh, I was reading a few days ago and I was looking at some of the criticism that he's made. Looking at some of the criticism this individual has made, it doesn't leave any hadith. No, no, no. he's made such criticism 
that if you were to accept that criticism, then you will not be able to accept, I would say, about 90, 90% of the hadith literature. You will be able to. Yeah. So it's just a very sly way of uh, rejection of hadith. That's all it is. Manana, look, you know the Rawafis, when you first come into contact with them, will they say we don't believe in Abu Bakr and Umar? No, 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 they won't say that. No. They lay such principles down that after these principles, once you try to take them and you come onto terms with them, yeah. there is no Abu Bakr and Umar left. That's it. Simple. So this is what he's trying to do. He's trying to get the Ummah onto the pr principles of Hadith rejection. That's it. Simple. Once you bring people on the principles of Hadith rejection, yeah, they are it. Hadith rejectors. Yeah. And... Alhamdulillah, thumma alhamdulillah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has chosen us and many other brothers out there. Many too. And, and even sisters. Yeah, Mawlana, he's been here. Yeah. The, sisters, as the well. sisters out there, Alhamdulillah, Allah ta'ala raised their ranks. Amin. Allah preserve them and Allah protect them. Even these sisters, you begherat, they're exposing you. Yeah. Even women are exposing you. Alhamdulillah. This is how, you know, shund has become. Yeah. So then he says, look, amongst these hadiths, like um, Allama Anwar Shakashbiri Allah in At-Tasri has brought over a hundred. But here, obviously, he's not going to bring all hundred, no. right? So he's given some examples. So he said, look, amongst them is from Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala. Okay, the Sahaba that him and his crony uh, mock the Sahabi, right? They actually have bad ill uh, thoughts and ill words in their own private gatherings regarding Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala. And it's all germs from Shias. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Germs from Shias, germs from these, you know, uh, uh, um, Quranists. Um, so anyway, he says, from Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala, Rasulullah sallallahu has been reported to have said, Laysa bayni wa bayna Isa nabiyyun. Between me and Isa alayhi salam, there's no nabi. Wa annahu nazilun, I'm going to come down. Something I've not told you. Even all this criticism that he's done on the hadith, that, that's not his research. No, 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 he's still... You know who... Pledges, you know, I'll tell you where it's come from. It's all come from a 19-year-old kid. <laughs> that's all it is. And you naughty, naughty, now you're probably thinking, how does this guy know? I know. It's all come from a 19-year-old kid who's doing all the research for him and who's given him it to him. And the 19-year-old's father, even he should take lesson. That you think you're going to hide. Tu bhi munkere hadith hai. Ye bhi munkere hai, tu bhi munkere hai. Go on, kari. Inshallah, Allah, all this, the truth will prevail. Allah, yeah, do you yeah, think yeah. he's got time for research? No, 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 he's got time for research. He's got time for pacing his nipples. Clubbing and all that. Allah, his, his job is all this, you know, yeah, this, yeah. this, this, this. Anyway, wa annahu nazilun, and he's going to return. Fa idha ra'aytumuhu, yeah, fa'arifuhu. When you see Isar Islam, then you should recognize him. And then Rasulullah s.a.w. explains, Rajulun marbu'un. Like in Shamayl is mentioned, Rab'atan min al-qawm. Yeah. Medium build, medium height. Ila al-humrati wal-bayad. Isa alayhi salam will be a fair complexion. Some redness in there. Ka'anna ra'sahu yaqturu. Mm. As if, Rasulullah uh, Rasul is explaining, as if another uh, hadith mentions uh, pearls. As if pearls are coming off. Okay? We'll have performed wudu, ghusl before coming and the fact that no water will have touched it so it will seem as if water is dripping off Islam, and he will fight he will fight when Isa Islam comes he will fight yeah saliba but forcing them uh, uh, what do you call it? fighting them doesn't mean he's going to force them to embrace yeah. Islam yeah that's a different thing. Yeah. Fighting to defend the cause of Islam is not forcing somebody to embrace Islam. Malana, let me explain yeah. to you. Look, the word yuqatilu is from mufa'ala. Yeah. It means a fight. You know, yeah. forcing Malana, is, is different. Forcing is when you've got ultimate power, the person's pleading is in a camp, yeah. and you've got a sword to it, and then he's saying, okay, I'll embrace Islam. Yeah. Fighting is when that person doesn't want to embrace Islam. That's why you're fighting with them. Yeah. So, he will fight because they don't want to embrace Islam. So, if anything, it means that. Anyway, next hadith from Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala once again. Okay? Ana awla nasi bibni Maryam. Laysa bayni wa baynahu nabiyun. Wal anbiya wa awladun allatun. Wa qala sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. 
لا يهل لنا ابن مريم بفجر روحا حاجا او معتمرا او لا يسني انه we've done these hadiths before and then he's going to descend in Dimashq um, by the white minaret you know eastern part of Dimashq Sharqiyah Dimashq etc and the fact that he's going to you know pursue the Jal and Babi Lod is going to kill him there etc etc so all these hadiths he brings he brings hadiths over many pages inshallah these scans will also be presented on the uh, platforms next I have a book of a big Maliki scholar, a Don Monana. Okay, he was born in the second century and passed away in the third century, so he's a very <laughs> earlier scholar. Ashrat al Sa'a wa Dhahab al Akhiyar wa Baqa al Ashrar. Yeah, so he says signs of the day of judgment and he brings hadith in there. This is from Al Imam Abdul Malik ibn Habib al Andalusi al Maliki. So this book is of Ibn Habib. Al Maliki. He was more of a faqih, yeah. more of a faqih, but nevertheless, he had expertise as well. Mm. In so hadith. born in the second century, he died in the third century. Yeah, two hundred thirty-eight, he passed away. Subhanallah. Two hundred thirty-eight, he passed Look away. Look how early that is. Look how early that is. Born in second, died in third. Look how close he was to Imam Malik. Are we going to take his understanding, or are we going to take this? Mangetar's uh, understanding from Bamiga. Look, Manana, previously I mentioned the hadith from Wata, from one of the recensions, from one of the, the, the um, um, Nusakh of Muatta, from one of the riwayat of Muatta, Muatta Ibn al Qasim, and others uh, from Wata, besides Yahya bin Yahya's riwayat from Muatta. Yes? Yeah. Same hadith. La yuhil lanna ibn Maryam. Bifajjar rauha hajan au mu'atamiran au layathniyan huma. He brings the same hadith. Okay, so he says, Qala Abdul Malik, wa haddathana mutarrifun. Mutarrif is a nephew of Imam Malik, rahimahullah. Subhanallah. Yeah, Banja, sister's son. An Malik. An Malik. From his mamu. An Ibn Shihab, an Hamdala ibn Ali al Aslamiyyi. So, same mona chain. Malik from Ibn Shihab, an Hamdala ibn Ali al Aslamiyyi. An Abi Hurara radiyallahu ta'ala. Same chain from Malik, from after Malik, uh, 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 from Hamzala ibn Ali Aslami, found in many other books. So this is not some Shah's or Munkar narration. It's just from Malik, rahimahullah, these scholars have narrated. Subhanallah. Well, an Abi Hurairah radiyallahu ta'ala, anna Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Can I just ask you a question here? This is one of the questions that he raised. He said, just because Imam Malik is narrating it, that doesn't mean Imam Malik believes it. What have you got to say about that? What would you say to that? So, there we say, he says, is the Utbiya reliable? Of course it's reliable. We've mentioned that in our previous. Yeah. So, Imam Malik's own words are, yeah, فَإِذَا عِيسَ بْنُ مَرْيَمْ قَدْ نَزَلَ yeah. That's not hadith. فَتَغْشَاهُمْ أَمَامَةٌ غَمَامَةٌ That uh, a cloud would come over the people, people are going to be listening to Iqama. That Imam Malik's words, that's not riwayat. So Imam Malik's own words are this. You know what I would say to that? Go on. If you say that just because Imam Malik is narrating it, that doesn't mean Imam Malik believes it. The same can be said about when Imam Malik narrates that Isa alayhi salam has passed away. Yep. He doesn't believe it. No, first and foremost, no, I'd rephrase that. Simple. Imam Malik hasn't narrated that. Yeah. That has been chainlessly, chainlessly. chainlessly attributed, attributed to, to Imam Malik. Yeah. Rahimahullah. Imam Malik hasn't narrated that. Number one. Yeah. Number two, attribution to Imam Malik of his return, clear words of dissension. Alright, I mentioned what Nahim Ajmal brought is not clear yeah. with regards to passing away and not returning. Not returning. Right. With regards to this hadith, لا يأتي أن ابن مريم فجر وحا حاجا أو معتمرا أو لا يثني أنهما لا يأتي أن هي the word is لا يأتي أن that is a slight variation لا يهل لنا the hadith has a three ch with three chains is in Sahih Muslim. Same hadith. Okay. And the muhaqqiq here even says, Isnaduhu Sahihun, Akhrajahu Muslim. And then he mentions the other books that is in Ibn Hibban, uh, in the Sahih of Ibn Hibban, Muslim Ahmad, and many other books as well. Okay. That's that done, Murana. So these are the, um, you know, now I have in front of me here the Sharh of Sahih Muslim. This is the Sharh 
of a later Maliki scholar. Okay, and his name is Muhammad bin Khalifa yeah, al Ubbi. You refer to as the Shara of Ubbi. Shara of Ubbi. So, in this commentary of Imam al Ubbi, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, they bring the issue or he brings the issue up uh, of Imam Malik Rahimahullah once again. So he says here with regards to Imam Malik Rahimahullah and Isa alayhi salam under the hadith la yushikanna an yanzila fikum ibn Maryam that soon the son of Maryam alayhi salam will descend amongst you. He says, Qultu al akthar ala annahu lam yamut bal rufi'a. He says, I say that the majority are of the opinion that he did not pass away, yeah. rather, he was raised. Wa fil utbiya, qala malikun mata Isa ibn thalathin wa thalathina sanatan. Isa alayhi salam passed away when he was 33 years of age. Then he quotes from Ibn Rushd, and we mentioned this previously in Al Bayan wa Tahseel, um, the commentary of Al Utbiya. He says, Yani bi mautihi khurujuhu min alam al ardi ila alam al sama. What Malik rahimahullah means by Isa alayhi salam, if that narration can, or that he's saying that can actually be proven with a chain, it's chainless. Mm-hmm. But what he means if it is proven is. He's, he's going out of this world yeah. up to the skies. So basically leaving this world and he's referred to that as the word Mata. قَالَ وَيَحْتَمِلُ أَنَّهُ مَاتَ حَقِيقَةً وَيَحْيَا فِي آخِرِ الزَّمَانِ And then he says it is possible that he actually died, literally died and then he will come to life in end times, إذ لا بد من نزوله لتواتر الأحاديث بذلك. Like we mentioned previously, even if we were to believe that Imam Malik Allah said that, okay, or anyone else believes that, then it means that that person believes or must also believe in the fact that he is going to come to life and return in the end, end of times. لِتَوَاتُرِ الْأَحَادِيثِ بِذَلِكَ Because of mass transmission. Yeah. Tawatur of hadith with regards to the return of Isa alayhi salam. وَفِي الْعُتْبِيَّةِ كَانَ أَبُوْ هُرَيْرَ Now this is a third thing which I want to bring to the attention of this uh, mangeter. Okay. Mullah, it's kind of funny though, isn't it? I mean, I've ever seen like an Arabic, even though it's Arabic all over the place, but Arabic speaking mangeter. Not only Punjabi, you know, Mirpuri, Arabic speaking, Mangetar. So, Utbiya, we presented two things from Imam Malik, Rahimahullah. And Utbiya, according to Mangetar Nahim, is authentic. One is Imam Malik, Rahimahullah, said that Rasulullah has said Sorry. that Isa Islam, is going to perform Hajj, Umrah, La Yuhilla, Nam Maryam, going to put Ihram on, or both. Number one. Number two, Iz Nazala. Yeah? Or Iza Nazala. فَإِذَا عِيسَى بْنُ مَرْيَمَ قَادَ نَزَلَ These are the words. Okay. The Malik Rahimahullah said that a cloud will come over the people and then they'll see and the Isa a.s. will have descended. So now these are two clear statements from Imam Malik Rahimahullah that he's saying that Isa a.s. is going to return. A third thing from Utbiyah because according to Nahim Ajmal without any kind of uh, um, conditions or without any exceptions Utbiyah Reliable. Of course it's reliable. Is Utbiyah reliable? Of course it's reliable. And we mentioned this in the previous video. Much. Is the Utbiyah reliable? Of course the Utbiyah is reliable. Kana Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala yalqa al-fatashab. Sayyiduna Abu Huraira radiyallahu ta'ala because we're not going into the hadith at the moment. Hmm. We're just talking about the Malikiyah and because this Imam Ubi Rahimahullah is a Maliki he's mentioning that Sayyiduna Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala, and this is actually mentioned in narrations and Mullah, you will have read that in at tashri yeah, as well. Yeah. That Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala would meet or would come across, you know, a, 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 a youngster, al fatash Shabba, fayaqulu, yabna akhi, or nephew. It's not literally nephew, but, or youngster, or, or nephew. 
innaka asa antal qaisa ibn maryam fa aqrihu minni salama it is so possible that you may meet you may actually come across and witness the time of the coming of isa alayhi salam if you do say my salam to him Allah. Sheikh Allah, this Mawlana Safraz Khan, Safdar Rahmatullahi, I believe in his book, he's also said the same thing. Yeah. Those uh, qaris, those people who are reading my work now, if you come across after I've died and my book reaches you, if you come, please, I want to act upon this son of Sayyidina Abu Huraira oh. radiallahu ta'ala as well. If you come across Isa alayhi salam, say my salam to him. Subhanallah, mashallah. Son of Abu Huraira. And these Mawlana people, in their gatherings, they mock Sayyidina Abu Huraira radiallahu ta'ala. And the people who the Shia Rafida, because if you want to attack the Sunnah of uh, uh, Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, usually for the Sunnah of you see two things, Mawlana. To attack Sahaba, the door first is Sayyidina Muawiyah radiyallahu. To attack, to attack Sunnah, the door is Sayyidina Abu Hurairah radiyallahu. Very this, nicely put, Mawlana. I have this to is, say this is for our awam yeah. to under to uh, to to recognize an enemy of Sahaba. First check what he's saying about Muawiyah radiyallahu. Yeah, because. Because Sheikhin, their awe is still such that it's hard to utter. Yeah. yeah? Although some Begherits from amongst them will, you know, go that step further. But first check what he's saying regarding Sayyidina Muawiyah radiallahu anhu. And if you want to see how firm is someone on the Sunnah and accepting the Sunnahs and the Hadith of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, just check his views regarding Sayyidina Abu Hurairah radiallahu anhu. These two things. This is for Awam to, and mashallah, I have to say, there are people, lay people out there that have a very good kind of like a uh, way of of um, determining or how to kind of uh, uh, see through people mm -hmm. with regards to what kind of uh, 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 you know the hidden mm -hmm. agendas are. Some some laymen actually have what do you call it? It's, it's, I think it's called discerning. Yeah, yes. Some laymen actually have this better than some of us Muslims. Yeah. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless them But it's very oh. important that we equip ourselves Because not only knowing the haqq is sufficient Knowing and recognizing batil Because then how are you going to stay away from it? Yeah. If you do not recognize batil and the people of batil And how they work And their kind of hidden codes Then it's hard for you to save yourself from them well, The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam told us in it There's du'as in it yeah. Of oh Allah you know Help us to recognize the haq. Yep. So that we can follow it. Yep. Help us to recognize the batil so that we can stay away from it. Another thing, Mawlana, is the rejecters of Sayyidina Isa alayhi salam's return try to use a statement of Ibn Hazm Zahiri, rahimahullah, yeah. where he's mentioned that there is ikhtilaf with regards to it. The word ikhtilaf. Yeah? The word ikhtilaf. There is a difference. Now, who are the people who have differed with the Muslims? He's not mentioned that. Mm. But one thing I want to make clear here, and today, inshallah, I've mentioned two things from with, with regards Ibn to Hazm. Ibn Hazm Zahiri's own references, with regards to his own belief, with regards to Isa Islam returning. So he believed in the return of Isa Islam. Okay? Not only does he believe it, he believes it's, it's kind of on par with the belief of Khatmi Nubur. Okay? We've mentioned that. And Ubbi here is mentioning... فَمَا ذَكَرَ بْنُ حَزْمٍ مِنَ الْخِلَافِ فِي نُزُولِهِ لَا يَسِحُّ And what Ibn Hazm has mentioned with regards to there being some difference. Yeah. Now, first of all, Ibn Hazm and Ibn Hazm even mentioned who's different with the Muslims on it. Okay? But even if you were to take it, Ubbi here is clearing it up. As a Maliki, he's saying that which Ibn Hazm has mentioned with regards to any difference with regards to it, uh, the uh, uh, second coming of Isa a.s. It's not even authentic. There's no difference with regards no to difference. this. Moreover, the fact that he can't bring a single guy, that's you know, that shows you know, that there's no difference. Yep. And then he goes on. I believe even um, Ibn Abdul Barz mentioned this, and here Ubi is mentioning it as well. They even mentioned that he's going to come back with a zawaju wa yuladu lahu. These are all hadiths you yeah. find them in at Tashri that he's going to marry. He'll have children. His wife's name is even mentioned, Radiyah. His wife will be called Radiyah. And he's going to be doing Hajj. And وَيُصَلِّ عَلَيْهِ الْمُسْلِمُونَ The Muslims will offer Salat al-Janazah. وَيُدْفَنُ مَعِيَّ فِي قَبْرِ And there's a 
space for a fourth grave next to Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and it will be very close, so close that Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam said he will be buried with me in my grave. In other words, right next to me. So these things are mentioned by the Malikiya, and we also have here. Um, so Ubbi's Sharh, okay, and then there is a Sharh of that, uh, you know, uh, 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 footnotes, uh, Muhammad bin Muhammad bin Yusuf al Sanusi al Hassani, Rahimahullah Ta'ala, he's done further footnotes on Muslim with regards to uh, Sharh of Muslim with regards to um, uh, the, the Sharh of Ubbi. And here he mentions. Um, under the signs of the Day of Judgment, in the Hadith of Jibreel alayhi salam, he says, what are the signs now? Very interesting, Mawlana, this. He says, you know, under the, in the Hadith of Jibreel, where, uh, matas, uh, you know, when is uh, uh, Qiyamat? And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wasallam replied by saying, Mal mas'ulu anha bi a'lama min as -sa'ili. The one being asked is not more knowledgeable in this regard than the one who's asking. In other words, you don't know, I don't know. Okay? And on a side note, Mulana, the Barilvi interpretation of this is very interesting. And it's quite funny as well. But I'm just going to leave that out leave at that, this moment that, in time. That, okay? That. At the moment, yeah, they're better on this. <laughs> we'll give them a little break. <laughs> don't, don't make them naraz. <laughs> right. So, with regards to Isa alayhi salam, uh, with, with regards to the signs of the Day of Judgment, um, amongst those signs, he says, فَأَخْبِرْنِي عَنْ أَمَارَاتِهَا Tell me, so Rasulullah said, we don't know, I don't know, you don't know. So then he said, okay, tell me the signs of um, um, the Day of Judgment. Okay. So, قَالَ بْنُ رُشْتْ So he says here, فَأَخْبِرْنِي عَنْ أَمَارَاتِهَا عَنِ الْقَرَائِنِ الدَّالَ عَلَى قُرْبِهَا Tell me with regards to the things that indicate the Qiyamah is imminent. وَهِيَ تَنْقَسِمُ إِلَى مُعْتَادٍ كَالْمَذْكُورَاتِ Yek. وَكَرَفْعِ الْعِلْمِ وَظُهُورِ الْجَهْرِ وَكَثْرَةِ الزِّنَا وَشُرْبِ الْخَمْرِ وَغَيْرِ مُعْتَادٍ So he says there's two types of signs of Qiyamah. Number one, those are Mu'tad and those that are غير Mu'tad. So Mu'tad are like the ones that are mentioned in the Hadith. Okay. People, you know, uh, uh, will be, you know, يَتَطَاوَلُونَ فِي الْبُنْيَانِ and أَنْتَ الْحُرَافِ وَفَاتَ الْأُرَاتَ الْعَالَةَ Yeah. Um, uh, people that have been, you know, herding sheep. Yeah. يَتَطَاوَلُونَ فِي الْبُنْيَانِ وَكَرَفْعِ الْعِلْمِ وَظُهُورِ الْجَهْرِ وَكَثْرِ الزِّنَامِ وَشُرْبِ الْخَمْرِ Ilm will be lifted. Sacred knowledge. And um, ignorance will become prevalent. Right? Kathrat is zina and adultery will become uh, common. And the consumption of alcohol common. And then he says, وَغَيْرْ مُعْتَادٍ These are out of the... So these are the ordinary things. They're, they're, they're not out of the ordinary. These are ordinary things. But they will just become prevalent. Right? And then he says, Out of the ordinary things are كَالدَّجَّال Number one. وَنُزُولِ عِيسَى عَلَيْهِ السَّلَامِ وَنُزُولِ Isa alayhi salam and the coming down of Isa alayhi salam. Wa khuruji ya'juja wa ma'juj. Coming out ya'juj ma'juj. Wa dabba and the beast. Wa tulu'i shamsi min maghribiha and the rising of the sun from the west. Listen carefully now. Qala ibn Rushd. Wa attafaqu ala annahu la budda min zuhuri hadhi al-khamsa. These five are agreed upon. Subhanallah. These five signs of Qiyamah are agreed upon. وَاخْتَلَفُوا فِي خَمْسَةٍ أُخَرَى And they've differed with regards to other five. And then he has mentioned the other five. So these are not something which are disputed with regards to the signs of the Day of Judgment. There is no dispute with regards to Isa alayhi salam coming. Thus, the Sharh of Ubbi. This volume one. So I have another volume here, volume four. Right, this is in Kitabul Hajj. I'm purposely bringing this once again because he's part of the Maliki, and I want to show the Malikis have documented it. Wherever these things come, they keep documenting it. So, the same hadith we covered from Imam Malik in the Muatta, one riwayat, okay, 
one nuskha, and also from Ashratu Saw of Ibn Habib. Now here in uh, uh, Sahih Muslim, La Yuhillan Namdu Maryam, Bifajir Rauha Hajan, or Matamiran, or La Yathniyan Nahuma. Under the Imam uh, Ubi Rahimullah, Allama Ubi Rahimullah mentions, Hada Yakunu Bada Nuzulihi Il Al Ard Akhir Al Zamani. This is going to be after he comes down to the land, comes down to the earth, uh, end times. Qultu wal hadithu nassun fi hayatihi. And I say, he says, I say this hadith is very clear mention with regards to him being alive. Okay. And then um, he explains, he goes on to explain where is Fajr Rawha, etc. So this is another uh, reference there. Then we have Molana um, Al Kuba Qurtubi. Imam Qurtubi, Rahimahullah, once again, and I'm sure he's probably referred to him as the dawn, as this, as that, mm -hmm. okay? And, um, you know, in his, his, in his uh, uh, really kind of like ugly and nasty way, he uses the same moral laughter, same titles again. Everyone's a dawn for him. Yeah. Everyone that he refers to is a dawn. Right. And here, Imam Qurtubi, Rahimahullah, has a book. It's called at tazkira Fi Ahwal al Mauta wa Umur al Akhira. Okay? And he has a mention with regards to the signs of the Day of Judgment. And then he lists the hadith of the Jal and Isa alayhi salam. And I'm not going to go into them because that's going to come in the hadith section. What I'm trying to say here is that these Maliki giants have listed these hadiths inside their book. Now, I'm going to mention something more than I want to do a special video on this. Okay? You might not be happy, but I want to do it separately. You know, under the title of reasoning. Yeah. You know, this whole thing of reasoning. I mentioned from Qadi Yaz Maliki, Rahimahullah, that he said that there is nothing from Aqal and Shariat that invalidates this belief or leads us to reject this belief over the return of Isa, alayhi salam. It's not against reasoning, it's actually in accordance to reasoning. Here, Mona, over the, 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 the uh, space of a, probably a page and a bit, he mentions, فَإِنْ قِيلَ He mentions the hadith with regards to the Jal and Isa Islam going to kill him. Then he said, if an objector objects, فَمَا الْحِكْمَةُ فِي نُزُولِهِ فِي ذَلِكَ الْوَقْتِ دُونَ غَيْرِ What's the um, wisdom the of the return? And the coming down of Isa alayhi salam. At that time and no other time. Fal jawab anhum in thalafati awjuhin. Three types, three angles he gives. Different answers with regards to logical answers. Non-hadith answers. I want to do one video on that Mawlana. Yeah. And then challenge this uh, Mangetar. And say, Mangetar reasoning versus Qurtubi reasoning. Yeah, because you're all good calling them dons. Yeah. But when they're bringing their reasoning out. And you're rejecting that saying, this is the view of people. Because Mawlana, he did not understand, he did not think anyone's going to come. He just thought people are going to come to his, uh, to his you know, yeah. smelly little front room that they sit in. And he does that thing and says, come on my mind travel, come on here. Going to sit next to him, right? <laughs> and start discussing verses of the Holy Quran. Putter, we grabbed, gripped you from where you could not imagine. And why is that Mawlana? From this whole thing. And he's going to regret saying that. The people who believe in this belief are those who are tribalistic and who actually sat around campfires wasting time just telling fairy tales. Well, I just want to touch on one thing. You, you've, just, you've just reminded me. Uh, I've seen quite a few times in the comments people are asking again. Uh, they're obviously, you know, uh, people that follow him. Uh, come on, mind trap, mind trap, mind trap. Simple. I just want to mention one thing. Whatever he's going to say in mind trap to us, tell him why can't he just say that on a video? Simple. Whilst we're sitting in front of you, or whilst we're here, what difference does it make? It's not that, you know, if we're, when we're sitting no, in front of you, one moment. second, He's one got second. time to think. He, yeah, he's got time to think. It's not like we're going to sit in front of him and he's going to become something different. And when we're, when we're not there, then he's, then, you know, he's not that same thing. No. If he's got something to say, Tell him, come, sit in front of the camera and tell him, you know, just wag it, wag it, wag it and say and give an answer to this. Give us a decent answer. Something that is going to satisfy us. Whether we are on 
mind trap or whether we're sitting here what difference does it make so just a quick short message to all those fun girls of his that come onto our comments and beggars to come onto mind trap we're not going to come on mind trap and we're purposely not going to come on mind trap and if you want to know if you want to know why we're not coming on mind trap i'll tell you why to get you lot angry go on, go on. yeah yeah, I think I think man, I think yeah. that, that's that's a big, big response. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. We're not gonna, and we're gonna get you angry, but man, you and the what? more you ask us, the more we're not man, going I'll to. Tell you why he likes mind trap. It's easy to divert. Yes. You know to take it here, to take it there. Take it here, take it there. We're giving you time to think. Tahajjud part, yeah, or go and turn to your Satan, yeah. the ones that you know oh, your yeah, pay masters or whatever. Tahajjud. You might get some inspiration. This guy doesn't read the faras faras namaz. You're telling him to read tahajjud namaz. Chal, ghusl kar, okay? I won't put it past these guys. To walk around, you know, palit. <laughs> anyway, Mola, let's carry on with this, let's finish it quickly. Right. So, Imam Qurtubi, Rahimahullah, in at tazkira over, and I'm going to dedicate, inshallah, one video, that's why I probably won't present the scams of this, at this moment in time, where he's saying, what's the wisdom in the return of Isa a.s. And he gives the aqli, he actually lays it out, aql, okay? The reasoning and, uh, like you said, the rationality behind it. Right. And then we have um, Al-Tafsir Al-Bahr Al-Muhit, okay? Of Abu Hayyan Andalusi, rahimahullah, 8th century scholar. Now, this tafsir has um, a good few references in it and is um, a tafsir which expands over many volumes okay at this moment in time i am just going to give you a khulasa and a summary of it so on the surah zukhruf wa innahu la ilmun li sa'at so this same scholar again and again in his tafsir is reiterating the belief of the return of isa a.s. maliki scholar giant you might find it inside his videos if we do inshallah we'll present it he calls them all dons and all these dons are coming back to haunt this mangator <laughs> all the dons are coming back to haunt this mangator on our tongues alhamdulillah they may be passed away but the books are still alive i bet next time he goes into his library Morana, he's gonna feel and, like burning and, them and you know he looks at those books there and he's definitely going to address the book. I'm not calling you done next time. <laughs> you, you're not, you're not done. You're not done. You're not in naughty. <laughs> so, on. under the verse, وَإِنَّهُ لَعِلْمٌ لِسَّاعَةِ فَلَا تَمْتَرُنَّ بِهَا وَاتَّبِعُونَ Isa is a sign of Tiyamat. So, he says, he goes on to say, Okay, there's a whole bahas with regards to what, what in the who, the who is going back to Isa Islam, we mentioned that previously yeah. from, I believe, uh, Ibn Abdul Barr, that he's saying goes back to Isa Islam, and wa anna khurujahu la ilmun li Just yeah. on, sorry, sorry to disturb you, just quick for the viewers. Uh, inshallah, after the hadith series, we're going to move on to the verses of Quran, inshallah. So, those that have been asking about the verses of Quran, please talk about the verses. They're going to be our final step, inshallah. There's about three or four verses. Uh, me, myself, inshallah, I'll be giving you all the commentary, uh, explanation, the translation, and refutation of his points, inshallah, and uh, the, the correct stance of the scholars of the Ummah, inshallah. So don't worry about it, inshallah. That will be also coming. One moment. So his um, coming is a sign of Qiyamat. Yadullu ala qurbi qiyamiha that will be telling us the qiyamah is very imminent. Id khurujuhu sharatum min ashratiha because the coming of Isa is a sign from amongst the signs of qiyamah. Wa huwa nuzuluhu min as sama fi akhir zaman and that is the descension from the skies. Have you noticed, Mullah? They don't leave they, they don't leave anything ambiguous yeah. because look, Mirza uh, Ghulam Ahmad Qadiani might say, okay, I am that. Yeah. So they've made it clear, Nuzuluhum minas sama. Mirza doesn't come from there. Yeah. Mirza's far from the sky. <laughs> Mirza with that booty on his face <laughs> was nowhere near coming from the skies. Okay? 
Um, and he tried his best, Molina, to make the white men there. And before he could even complete it, he did Janda and all that. And then he just died. Yeah. So many crackpots have come in the past. Busy, past. Yeah, this Mangeta is one of those crackpots. He has come and he will go as well. We just need to make clear, right? And this is our way of presenting to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala which side we're on. That's all it is. What well, now? We're not, you know, Allah's not in need of me or Molana or anyone else. Allah, you know, takes work from whoever he wants. But we just need to make clear that we are not on the side of this Mangetar Zindiq. Okay? We are on this side with the Muslims. We are in the side of the Muslims. Like Molana keeps saying, Assalamu alaikum to all the Muslims. Right. So that's Tafsir. Al Bahrul Muhit. Another volume of Al Bahrul Muhit. Okay. Um, so the one I've just presented is volume eight. Morana, should we keep this to the last one? Right? No, yeah. no, no, no. We'll, we'll, we'll go through it all, Morana. We'll go through it all, inshallah. It's very important. Okay. And under the verse what time is of Khatmul Ghut. No, no, inshallah, we, will, we, will, we won't be long. Okay, if under the verse. Go of, sleep, I'm going to sleep. Makana Muhammadun Aba Ahadim Mir Rijalikum, Surah Ahzab. Walakir Rasulallahi wa Khatam and Nabiyin. The finality of the prophethood of Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. Under that verse, Mawlana, he's bringing the issue again of Isa Al Islam's return. Yeah. Look at the reiterating that these Maliki scholars are doing. So, what does he say? He says, these are very clear words with regards to no prophet after Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. It means no one will be actually given prophethood after Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Okay, this not should not be a worried. In other words, no one should ob this this should not come as an objection, objection. of Isa alayhi salam coming in end times. Why? He's been given prophethood before. And I often present it like this. Definition of Khatm al is at the coming of Rasulullah there will be no increase or decrease in the total number of prophets. At the coming of Rasulullah the total number. So if it was it has increased to one by the coming of Rasulullah the total, total population. Now if all previous prophets were to come back would that number increase? No. Because they're already the same people. So Anyone coming again and again and again, we're here to look at. This is what Khatm Nubuwat means. So he brings that there. Okay, the scans will be presented once again. He's talking about the return of Isa alayhi salam. Right, another volume of Al Bahr al Muhit. This is volume number two. Here, Mono, under the verse. Mono, so you're not tired yet. No, I'm not tired now. Yeah. ya Isa, inni mutawafika. وَرَافِعُكَ إِلَيَّ وَمُطَهِّرُكَ This is third sipara, okay? Third para, third juice of the Holy Quran. This is Surah Ali Imran. And then he brings the issue of um, the, uh, the, all the different donations and from the Salaf and the Tabi'een and Sahaba with regards to the Aqeedah of Isa Islam's return. But what is interesting here, and inshallah, after Ramadan, we're going to explain this whole system and this whole concept of ijma and consensus and yeah. sabirul mu'mineen and how the entire ummah is upon one path yeah. and Mangetar from Birmingham is on a separate path. And He's how he brings up all these, uh, you know, fazul, futile arguments about ijma, you know, this ijma, uh, uh, there was an ijma claimed about this issue and there was an ijma claimed about this issue and there was an ijma claimed about this issue but there wasn't an ijma and he brings up a few examples of this all that's fazool it's all futile you know we'll inshallah we're going to discuss we'll, that when we'll, we get we'll, to we'll discuss that yeah. Marana. Yeah. he'll have nowhere to hide we are talking about the return of Isa islam we're not talking about wuzu and ghusl masail yeah ijma simple as that we're not talking about salah ijma and Salah, you know, this Furu'i Masail Ijma. We're talking about the return of Isa Islam. You bring us issue, uh, uh, texts and uh, evidence simple, with regards simple, to the return of Isa Islam. Simple as that. Anyway, he says, Qala ibn Atiyah, and we're going to discuss this afterwards. Wa ajma'at al ummatu ala ma tadammanahu al hadithu al mutawatiru. Min anna Isa fi samai hayyun, wa annahu yanzilu fi akhir al zaman, fa yaqtul al khinzir, wa yaksir al salib, wa yaqtul al dajjal, wa yafidu al. Adl, وَتَظْهَرُ بِهِ الْمِلَّةُ مِلَّةُ مُحَمَّدِ صلى الله عليه وسلم وَيَحُجُّ الْبَيْتِ وَيَعْتَمِرُ وَيَبْقَى فِي الْأَرْضِ أَرْبَعًا وَعِشْرِينَ سَنَةً وَقِيلَ أَرْبَعِينَ سَنَةً 
basically Ibn Atiyah. Yeah? He says, this is who saying this? Abu Hayyan Andalusi, author of Tafsir al Bahr al Muhit. Yeah? 8th century scholar. What is he saying? The Ibn Atiyah said, the entire Ummah Umma. has unanimously agreed upon what? Has a consensus upon that which the hadith has come, come within must transmission hadith. Of what points? Isa is alive in the sky. Isa is going to return in time. Going to kill the uh, All these things. So the return of Isa is an agreed upon issue according to this Maliki Don. Once again, going further. Same tafsir, volume number four. Okay? Brother and sister, mashallah, you can see Mawlana Osman sahab. Like, I'm actually sincerely begging this guy to stop. But you can see he's on a roll. Mashallah, how much so, is coming yeah, out? So, so, Allahu Akbar. Are you going to really deny all this for this Rawaila? Use, use, uh, Allah ke wase, please. Use your common sense that Allah has given you. Allah has given you common sense. Look at the guy. The guy looks like a clubber. And these people who are God-fearing people, were they right or is he right? Please think about it. Think about it. Go on, Mawlana. Sorry. لأن الأخبار تضافرت برفعه حيا وأنه في السماء حي وأنه ينزل ويقتل الدجال. Yeah. He's in the same tafsir under the verse. فلما توفيتني كنت أنت الرقيب عليهم. Yeah. Uh, just before Surah An'am at the end of Ma'idah. He says the narrations have reached a level of mass transmission with regards to Isa alayhi salam's ascension alive. And the fact that he's in the sky is alive, and the fact that he's going to return, going to kill the Dajjal, etc. So this whole thing of Isa alayhi salam going up and then returning before Qiyamah, this has reached a level of mass transmission. And have you noticed all the Malikiyah, what are they leaning on? Verses of Quran. Again and again. What is it from? Quran. And so now. Mawlana, when you do your series, yeah. you need to keep bringing this back. Yeah. Who understands Quran better? Malikiya or Mangetar? Okay? Malikiya versus Mangetar. Call that series that. Next. M or M? Not M and M. M or M. Right. Once again, Tafsir. Okay? al Bahrul Muhit. This is volume number three. Right? Under the verse or verses, Barrafa'ahu Allahu ilayhi wa kana Allahu azizan hakima wa imin ahli al kitabi illa la yuminanna bihi qabla mawti. Right? And under there, he brings once again the return of Isa alayhi salam. Okay? Ma sahhani rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam fi hadith al mi'araj wa huwa hunalika muqimun hatta yunzilahu Allahu ilal ard li qadl al dajjal wa li yam laaha adlan kama muliat jawra. So, in other words, the, the the summary of all this. Now I even have one. You know I have to present this scans and then I think we'll yeah. call it that's, we'll that's, call it a day. Right. right. I have Tafsir Qurtabi as well with me here. We're gonna have a fight okay. now. No, no. What I'll do is I'll just mention the the volume numbers. I'll I'll present. tell him. Look, brothers, he's got three volumes. Number one, number two. I'm tired and here go home. And number three, three volumes. Even Qurtabi is telling you that he's coming. Qurtabi is begging you and telling you, please believe it. You got Al Bahrul Muhit, he's begging you Kurtubi and he's telling you, please believe it. Yeah. Uh, Kurtubi said in Astazkira, please believe it. Bas Malana. Tigi. Salaam alaikum. If after all this you don't believe it, on the day of Qiyamah, do not say, we didn't come and we didn't we didn't tell you. You've taken this Rawaila instead of all these God fearing people. Wa akhra dawana and alhamdulillah rabbil alameen. Salaam alaikum wa rahmatullah to Allah, Muslims. Muslims.